Let me fucking see him. Mind your fucking business. Goddamn picker mouth. You come to me right away, and we'll fucking do it right away. I want to come back to apologize because I ain't no use friends with them like that. I thought you were snooping. So I got real angry. I'm a tailor. It's to the ground. And Let's all keep our head down near to the ground because we ain't need Tommy finding out about this because if Tommy finds out about this, all our damn hides are skinned unless we shoot first. All right, Connor. Head back inside. Grab yourself a drink. Plotting without me. What you listening for? Hmm? You talking to me right now? Mm-hmm. I ain't listening to anything. I can't hear a fucking word they're saying. That's what I thought. You mind your fucking business. Shut your goddamn picker mouth. What the hell, you some bitch? Fuck on the ground for it. Oh, here we go. You want to call me that again, you mother? Oh, oh, oh my bad. Put the knife away. Gotta put the fucking knife away. Oh god. I guess he has a weak personality, some bitch. Oh my lord, how many hats did he have on? Fucking series I'm up. How many hats did he have on? Yeah, it's full fucking heads on. Rapfully throw. Was that a friend of somebody's? That was he worked for us. He did? Yeah, but he kind of threw the first punch, so Hey, you thought he was listening in on our private conversations you was staring at us if he was listening. I called him Peckerhead. I've heard worse. Well, all right, Connor, you take it easy, all right? Don't drink yourself under the table. I don't know if he's coming back to fight me now, because I'll shoot the bitch if he tries. Oh, I'll make sure he doesn't. What? Just make sure Is he work, work here? Is he a friend of yours? No, he works at the ranch. Mm. Just, Connor, find out a confirmation whether or not Tommy wants to steal kidnap rigs or do something to Baz. And then relay it to me, and I'll make sure I'll let Baz know, all right? All right. We just need to make sure, because the little time gap is what makes me a little nervous about the whole thing. I don't think it's far enough, because when he talked to me, it was right after... He brought it up right after uh, me and... Uh, fuck, what's his name? Baz had an agreement there. He brought it up right after, and he kept bringing it up. Right. Is he unsure about that? It sounds certain, but I don't know. Baz didn't sound too, you know. Let me talk to him more time. The whole thing is interesting. I do need bandages. I reckon they brought them. Hey, I roll at you. Hmm? Come close to me. Baz, I need to talk to you real quick, privately. Baz? Yeah. I need to talk to you privately real quick. Let's go up to the church. Yeah, yeah, I knew it. It's all about your friend there, right? It's all about your friend there. I thought he was somebody who was snooping. It's out. Got pissed at him. You probably shouldn't have called him a pick him out. He's gonna he's not gonna be happy about that when he wakes up. Well, I'll kick his ass if he wants it. No, no, stop fucking kicking his ass, alright? Fucking hell. Mm. 
it. What's, what's going on? So, Gearheart brought some clarin clarence to my head, whatever that word is. Clarity. So, Tommy Two Snakes asked me to do the thing before we talked about things being cleared up and right afterwards. So, it's still a thing he wants me to do. From what I understand. Because after we talked an hour, two hours later, he's still bringing it up. All right, listen. Next time you fucking see him, you talk about the fucking plan. If that plan is still happening, you come to me right away, and we'll fucking do it right away. Mm -hmm. All right, that's all I ask. He has no clue that I'm part of this. So he's going to ask me to do things. He'll tell me things probably, because I guess he's starting to... Think you can trust me, even though I ain't like the yeah, two crossing yeah, so I know, I know, I know, I know, but you you gotta be fucking careful. There's a lot of fucking serpents in this town. Right? Mm -hmm. A lot of fucking eyes see you talking to me. It could get back to him. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I know serpents well. Especially if the first time I got back at the son of a bitch, my friends, who I thought was friends, betrayed me immediately afterwards. You're right, though. We shouldn't be seen together. Yeah. All right. All right. Just get back to me if the plane's still on, and then we'll talk about it. Mm-hmm. Today. I want charges pressed on him for what he has done to me. Be careful of the Don't wagon. We have had a lot of peace today. We will you continue are. this tradition. Mm -hmm. and we will walk away. Thank you. That was a pleasure. What was that? I just, I just got a bug on me. Don't worry about it. Who was that guy have punched me? Did he walk away? Before I tell you the name, are you gonna... No, I, I just want to talk and say I didn't know he was friends with what was going on. I thought he was snooping. So, I'm gonna give him my best apology I can give. Alright, alright. It's alright, Colin. I just wanted to make sure. Mm -hmm. His name is Mr. Friendly. Mr. Friendly. Very friendly, I guess. Is he the guy with the white shirt over there? Uh... Uh, use, uh, the guy I was talking to earlier in the saloon. Who, me? Mr. Friendly or something. Oh, yeah, this oh, guy, yeah. All right, who? I want to come back to apologize because I didn't know you was friends with them back there. I thought you was snooping. So I got real angry. I have a temper. All right, well, you, you know, if you thought I was uh, some random snooping, I guess I can understand it. Yeah, we was having a delicate conversation, but I guess he's a friend, so it's fine. Yeah, well, I mean, I didn't, uh, I, I was told to step out of the conversation, but, uh, like I said, I did not hear nothing. Mm -hmm. I was just kind of overwatching. Well, you ain't punch like a bitch, so I guess you that. Well, I appreciate that. I'm kind of glad, uh, I was pulled off here, to be honest, at the end there. Mm-hmm. You just like to go to the throw, I see, but I guess some people does that. I do go to the throat, but, uh, you know, I, I apology uh, accepted, and I apologize as well. For I'm glad they stopped me, because I was about to stab you as soon as I got back up, and then they said something. I already have my gun out, actually, so, uh, yeah. we both about to escalate. Mm-hmm. Well, I ain't say sorry very often, so I guess he's lucky. You take care. Yeah, you as well. Oh, Thorpe, I made good yeah. of your I made good of your friend back there. I'm glad I didn't stab him. Oh, well, I don't know him that well, but that's that's good. That's fine. I mean, I, you know, words get heated, right? Mm-hmm. These are fucking tense times. We almost just got into a whole. Almost got tomahawked. Uh huh. I thought he was snooping, so I said he's a peckerhead and got pissed about that. Oh, he got that. that upset over being called a peckerhead. Mm-hmm. I understand, but he's, he actually seems like a very violent person, so I, that doesn't surprise me. And I have a temper, I'm told. 
I, I remember uh, when the uh, first time I met you, you were uh, extremely inebriated and you were quite angry. I guess that is a common way people would meet me in the past. Well, you, you've come a long way, I'll tell you what. Uh, I don't know how you know that, but I guess I appreciate it. Well, I mean, considering when I first met you, uh, the first three times you could barely talk, and if anyone tried to help you, you would scream at him. So. Yeah, I was a while back. I remember. It was quite. I can't a while say back. I remember, but I remember the times. Yeah, yeah, I, I, it's a compliment to uh, you. Obviously, if uh, something has changed you for the better, you can. Uh... He's up there learning to read. I would have quit drinking though, but I ain't quit. I quit for a while, but I still drink the devil's juice nonetheless. So I don't know how well, much. You're under a lot of stress right now with this this creep two snakes. Mm -hmm. between, He's uh between me and you, whispers here. Yeah. I hope he sees the light over there, Baz. Cause I heard rumors that Baz has had his own comings with him and betrayed by. Tom of two snakes, cause he is a damn fucking snake, this son of a bitch. Well, yeah, me. they promised peace. He said that everything was squashed and all that, but clearly, I don't know why you'd ever believe a man who's constantly attacking people in the back. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to make as many friends who hate him as well, because currently, I'm stuck underneath his damn thumb. I don't say too much about that, but I don't like being there. Well, if you know yourself and. I'm learning, actually, I'm learning pretty recently that, uh, that having some friends are quite the important thing to do. I could use more friends, but I ain't have that money because they either fuck me over or I ain't trust too much. I think I has two friends in this damn world at this point. Uh, well, look, I'd, I'd tell you what, there's hope for everybody. I had spent, it seemed like, a long time before I uh, <laughs> had any actual friends, and then, uh, now I have the more than I think I realized, probably. Maybe five, six real friends. And I tell you, there are a lot of people who, uh, you know, until recently actively avoided being my friends too for, you know, everybody has their reasons. So, if it happened to me, I'm sure it can happen to you too. Maybe if I'm lucky one day, I might get some new friends, but I'm known you're doing for the being right a thing. prickly some bitch, I guess, and people ain't like that. But you're doing the right thing, you know? You have your reasons, but you're doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that means something to you, but it does other people. All I know is God knows I ain't know, but we'll see if I'm on the right path. Probably the wrong path, but God knows. That's for sure. <laughs> You'll find out eventually, right? Mm -hmm. I think I can borrow you for a second, Mr. Oglethorpe. Oh, sure. What's going on? I just wanted to say that uh, we looked for the anything left, and it looks like it all got teared down. So the what? Uh, the the things we were looking for. It looks like there's anything. Oh, you got them? Oh, wait, really? Uh, yeah. Let me ask. Well, Danny left, but I'll find out from Danny. All right. Because I went up there to look, and it was still there, and uh, somebody must have got up there and snatched it while we were exploring. Uh, if uh, how many were there? Uh, I think there's about, uh, there's only one, like, one thing that I'd really like to It was save. the one from, what was it, the uh, person named Mills? Ye actually, that and the drawing, probably. The okay, I things. didn't think, where was I'm gonna get pissed drunk. Okay, come. Let's go. What are you doing, Mr. Connor? I'm doing just peachy as always. You know, there seems to be a lot of a lot of shit going on in this town once you just sit down and kinda of watch. 
There's a lot of peckerheads around here causing trouble for everybody these days. They know how to keep the damn noses clean. That's why I'm skeptical of everybody these days. Well, I suppose it makes sense. Mm -hmm. So, uh, who is it exactly you work for, if you don't mind me asking? Or uh, you self-employed kind of hunter? I'm a self-employed, but I'm known to work for the Dicenzos or security time to time. The Dicenzos? I'm afraid I don't know the name. These, uh... Big folks oh, that, in that, that family that owns the Saint Denis. Yeah, I read. Mm -hmm. I think I have heard of them. Yep. I was told never to talk back to them. Actually, that was my first uh, conversation about them. They have a lot of money, and they have a lot of friends, and uh, these and probably money can buy more friends a bit. Mm -hmm. These are the last men you want to have an enemy, because uh, they show up in force real quick. One time it was Van Horn, about 15 in the sun, but you showed up for a meeting that I didn't know about. I was just drinking there. They's oh, organized. Jesus. Well, I understand that as long as you respect them, they respect you. Well, uh, typically I'm all about respect. I mean, obviously, uh, as you learn when someone insults me, I do defend myself, but... Uh... Other than that, I usually just kind of sit there. Well, I guess I ain't glad I ain't kill you, so. There's that. I think we're both glad of that. Mm hmm. You still got a ranch? Yeah, we're at uh, Mr. Baz's ranch there. Big good money? No, it does not. I work there for the lodging at the moment. Mm hmm. I fish for my money. I met Baz a couple, couple days, weeks ago, I guess, at this point. Interesting son of a bitch. Oh. Well, that, how that, you know what? I'm actually kind of curious how that meeting went. I, I'm actually, you know, I know how he met me. I'm kind of curious how he meets other individuals. I met him drinking. I met him talking about things sensitive to my business. I got you. I don't think he just meets you because he talks a lot. <laughs> he does like to talk. That is very true. Mm -hmm. No, think about. It. I think I've ever, I've ever worked for someone who likes to talk as much as uh, Mr. Baz does. He sure does. He ain't wrong me ever. Rub me the wrong way, but I heard stories that he knows how to rile people up real good, good or bad. That is. Uh well. <laughs> I had a uh, altercation with, uh, I believe, one of his enemies the other day. Who would that be? Uh, Tommy is his name, I believe. Tommy Roach. I heard about him running around. Him and I walked in the general store. He pointed his gun at my face and said, whoops, sorry. I guess I didn't mean to do that. Hmm. Not me as someone who... Don't take kind of that sort of thing. I pulled my gun out and pointed at his face and said, whoops, I guess I'm sorry too. He then pointed his at mine and we had a good five minute conversation with guns pointed right at each other's faces. That sounds about right when it comes to Tommy. Thankfully, uh, nobody shot, but uh, I did get to, uh, to learn a bit about the man, I suppose. I'm sure if your cards played right. You might learn more about him from Baz, depending. But you didn't hear that from me. No, oh, I got you. Well, I will say I'm a. I'm more in the terms of, uh, I guess, just finding my way rather than finding people's battles. But uh, I will, if need be. Uh, Mr. Baz and this Tommy seem like they got some history, so I will support Mr. Baz. Mm -hmm. Well. I can understand a man who's got a quick temper because I'm in the same boat. I rile up real easy. He says I'm an ass hat peckerhead, so. No. Well, I suppose I got the quick temper, yep. Mm -hmm. 
Like I said, it's uh, I, I, I dare I say it's been a while since uh, someone's assaulted me like that to my face. Almost refreshing. Well, I tell you what, this is how you people ain't peckerheads. If they's willing to call you something to your face, that means they mean something, at least to somebody. If they's gonna hide behind your back and scoundrel around like a lizard or a damn spider or even a snake, then they probably plotting type. Yeah, absolutely. And I do gotta say, you were right up there for defending yourself very quickly, so. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling you and I ain't too different, if I'm being honest. Well, they only time would tell, really. But, if we both have tempers, I guess we're similar in that regards. Yeah. <laughs> Our tempers might match. Yeah, best fucking friends. We just had a pleasant conversation, yes. Mm -hmm. And what you speak about? How much we hate peckerheads. And how short our tempers are. Mm -hmm. That's good. I'm glad you found some commonality. He says you uh you runs a ranch. You need work. I mean, would that be smart to do at this fucking point in time? Mm -hmm. All right. How about later? All right, yeah, sure. After That's things are solved. I could, I could always use another hand on the ranch. Mm-hmm. Depending on how things uh, go. Can Fanny tell you where it is? Uh, I don't even recall if I did. I don't think I it's, did. It's over by uh, near Blackwater. Just on the outside of Blackwater, there. Is that That's one exactly. with the bobcat hanging about? That's the one. That's mm -hmm. the one. Barkley, does it... What? Come here. Well, Baz, <sighs> if things go as well as theirs, well, maybe I'll ask you for employment. If they don't go yeah. as well, then I ain't fucking talk to you then. I mean, I mean, sure. I mean, yeah, 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 it works. Mm -hmm. Fucking natives calling me all kinds of fucking besmirchments earlier. And I ain't know much about them. Because I stood up for myself. You believe what, this shit? What, what the hell you mean they calling you besmirchments? I fucking stood over there by the goddamn sheriff's office and I said, I walked up to him. I said, listen, I want my fucking potato back. Because they took my potato as an offering there. And then he goes and looks at me and says, fuck your potato. You smack him for that. I tried to. And then the other fella that was with another name, he said, I'm going to get off my horse and I'm going to fucking cut you up. I said, fucking do it then. So he jumps off the horse and I defend myself. And then we get broken up by the sheriff. And then the fucking name's like, oh, you've grown blood. We're going to come for you and we're going to fucking slice your head. Shit like that. Like I'm sorry, in my head. fucking world, if you come at me, threatening me, I'm allowed to defend myself. I'm allowed to kiss your goddamn ass. Like you're all high and mighty on your goddamn horse. Well, if they go around talking to people like that, they liable to get their ass handed to them. So it's yeah, they said, fuck my potato, they said. That potato meant a lot to me. And don't, they, said, they said, fuck your potato. Yeah, you ain't gotta fuck your potato. What's that? I said, you ain't gotta fuck your potato. I'm not gonna fuck my potato. That's a potato that my love gave me. Why the hell is he fucking potato for? Listen, um, you lo you you're fucking losing the fucking point here. The point is, they show disrespect to me, and they expect me to kiss their goddamn ass like they're the fucking uh, the gods. And uh, that's not how it goes. I'm sorry. So Daddy's going up there now to try and smooth things over with him. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, he's gonna come back after oh, he's done hold his begging. On. Just so I'm clear, you sent Danny up there to speak with the natives? No, I didn't send him. He started buying fucking self while I wasn't paying attention. I was up there learning the alphabet. Well, uh... Well, Danny's not the brightest then, is he? No, Danny doesn't fucking think before he acts. That's his problem. And he gets pissed off with me because I don't do the same thing. I actually think about things and he gets all frustrated because, uh, I think. Everything's going to be now, now, now with him. So now he's up there, all by himself, with the natives, probably bent over a log. But no, that's not my fucking problem. That's his problem. Bent over a log, getting it six ways from Sunday. Yeah, that's right. He's probably thanking him too. Oh, thank you, fellas. Thank you. Sounds like a real goddamn peckerhead to me. Yeah, you uh, I kind of kind of sounds like you really what, 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 dislike what, what, this Danny fella. No, I love Danny. He's a he's what the fucking bird. What the oh, hell was that? Bird again. That fucking cuckoo bird. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get fucking uh, cuckoo bird bringing up. food. All right. Well, there you go. I saw a bird chasing him. That was weird. 
I didn't see a, a damn bird at all. I think he's fucking nuts. You see that bird chasing him? Came right down. Oh, did it? Oh, mm -hmm. shit. Well, then I guess he's got to take some time to get, uh, get that away from him. Mm-hmm.